Yo, what is up guys? Kansas Marvel here, back at it again with another LEGO DC Super Villains video. Alright guys, so today we're, we're going to be making two custom characters, Black Widow and Hawkeye from Avengers Endgame. So actually, I was done with the Avengers Endgame stuff, I wasn't going to make any more characters. But a couple of you guys re really wanted me to make uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye, or really just Black Widow. Some of you guys wanted me, wanted me to make Hawkeye, but I decided just to go ahead and make both of them in the, in the same video. So yeah, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here. Alright, so let's get rid of... um. This so helmet to get started on this Black Widow. So for the Black Widow design, she, um, her Avengers Endgame outfit is really, it's, it's kind of like a classic outfit really. Uh, it le that's what it looks like to me anyway. It's really kind of all black with a little bit of red. So it was pretty easy. Um, there's just one piece I really didn't like, but overall I think the design turned out pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Alright, so for the head, you want to go over to, to the just the regular heads and go up to head again. And the one I decided to go with was, I think it was just like a regular a female head. I think, yeah, it was custom head number 49. I went ahead and made this skin color over here. And then for the for the facial decal color, uh, I was going to give her this color hair over here. And you guys will see in a bit. I think it was that one. I'm not sure. But I actually decided just to give her dark red because in, in a lot of the like promo images we see of Black Widow, like in posters and stuff, she has like dark red hair. So I decided just to go with the dark red hair. And I just like the way it looks better on, on this Black Widow custom. Alright guys, so for the hair, you want to go over to the uh, okay, uh, ponytail number 3, I think. Yeah, and you want to go ahead and make it dark red. So the color I was debating on uh, giving her was actually this one over here. Because uh, her hair is kind of weird. She has like like uh, she has like three different colors on her hair. Like she has dark dark color hair, and then as she as you go down in the ponytail, it gets lighter. But I just decided to just go with all red. So yeah, I went with the dark red color. If you don't like the way it looks, you can always change it to like a, a brown or whatever. Alright, so this is the, the body piece that I really do not like. So the Black Widow body piece, like her main torso piece, uh, it's really just basically all black with like some a lot of de detail and lines and stuff going through it. So the best that I can come up with or the best uh, piece that I found to kind of replicate that was really, um, it was Catwoman's I believe. Yeah, it was Catwoman's, and I, I'm not a big fan of this piece. I don't, I just, I just don't like the way the gray looks with the black. I don't know. If the gray was a little bit darker, then I guess it would look better. But like, there was just no other piece I could find. If you guys could find a better piece, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll take a look at that. Uh, but for the hands, you just want to give her some black gloves. For the arms, uh, I found some really good arms actually, because she does have a little bit of red on her, uh, on her, um, on her uh, wrist there. So you want to go with Ultraman to just make them black like that, and that looks pretty cool. Alright, so for the uh, the hips, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember which ones I gave her. Uh, I think it was Arsenal's actually, so it's going to be up here somewhere. Uh, was it Arsenal? Yeah, because you want to go with Arsenal and you want to make them black. And I actually like the way these look because um, if you look closely, you can actually see like a red X. It kind of looks like hourglass. So I don't know, I, I just really like the way it looks. So yeah, you want to go ahead and give, it, give her Arsenal's and make them black. Uh, for the legs, you want to go ahead and... Um, go with okay yeah so for the legs uh they're also all black so you just want to go with adam strange and make them black for both colors and i like the way the lines like the the black lines look on the black so i don't know i think it looks pretty cool all right so that's pretty much it for the uh overall design of black widow for the, so for the effects um you want to leave it blank but for the jump slam effect you want to go ahead and give her a uh i guess style number actually yeah we'll give her style number style number one and for the color we'll make it black so you can't really tell too much all right, uh, for the head impact, I went ahead and made just dark gray or dark red. My bad. All right, so on to the personality. So for the health icon, I went ahead and made it black. For the health type, make sure it's standard. Voice, make sure she has a female voice. Uh, target reticle. Let's see which one could I get. I'm, kinda, I'm, I'm trying to go. I'm trying, kind of trying to go fast here because we do have to make two characters in this uh, video. So I'll just go with Mercy Grave. So I don't want to waste too much time. Speed normal. And for the animation style, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be giving her some weapons anyway. So for the weapons, you could either go with uh, two um, two baseball bats, which I'm not a big fan of, and make them blue. Kind of like the electricity blue uh, she has. And give her two, like I said. But I just went with two guns because, I don't know, I just don't like the way those look. If they were a little bit more thin, I think they'd look a lot better. But I'm just not a big fan of the way those um those baseball bats look. If they had, like, if they had like actual nightsticks in the customizer, that'd be so much better. But I, I just went with two pistols and went ahead and made them black. Like I said, if you guys don't like the pistols, you can always go with the uh, the nightsticks or baseball bats. Alright, so that's pretty much it for our Black Widow. I'm not going to go over the abilities and stuff because I still have to make another character and this is kind of taking a while. So yeah, guys, on to, on to Hawkeye from Avengers Endgame. Alright guys, so for this Hawkeye, there was a lot more pieces to him. Well, not more pieces, but more like different pieces I had to, had to do with. 
Uh, and for that, I think that this Hawkeye actually turned out a little bit better. Uh, not to say that Black Widow looks bad, but I just think this one looks a little bit more movie accurate to uh, the Hawkeye we see in Avengers Endgame. But I still think both uh, both the uh, custom characters turned out pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And this one is not perfect either by any uh, stretch of the imagination. All right, so for the first thing you want to go over, you, you want to go over to head and go over to head again. And I know uh, that this Hawkeye has some beard or some stubble, I should say, really. But I just, I just, I decided just to go with like a clean face, nothing on it. So I went with the uh, custom man number twenty-eight. And then for the facial decal color, I went, to, I went over to the dark brown and made it dark brown. All right, so for the hair, you want to go for the hair piece, you want to go over to, uh, to. Uh, I'm trying to. Okay, yeah. You want to go over to short number two, and you want to go ahead and make it a dark brown as well. So this, the short number two is really the closest you're gonna get to the to the weird hair that a Hawkeye that Hawkeye has on, in um in Avengers Endgame. All right, so for the body piece, I actually had some trouble trying to find the, a good body piece for this Hawkeye. Uh, I was I was debating over two. I was debating over um over Death Storms, and you want to go ahead and make it black if you're gonna use this one. And I, I don't think this one looks too bad. It's just I don't know. I just didn't like the way it looked. Um, because Hawkeye is like the what what the piece that he uses is really just all black with a little bit of gold on it. So I don't know. I just didn't like the way I looked. So I went over to um. So I just used Talons, which is actually the same body piece I used for uh, my custom Ronin that I made a while back ago. So you want to go over to Talons and just leave it as is. Ah, <coughs> oh, sorry about that. My voice. Uh. All right. So now on to the legs. So for the legs, you want to go over to um. I was going to use uh, Big Bardis again, which is the ones I used for Ronin, but I just didn't like them because, I don't know, like, he just doesn't, he doesn't use gold boots in the movie. He has, like, gold stripes going down his pants and stuff. It's just not, he doesn't have, like, completely entire uh, golden boots. So what I decided to do, I just went over to uh, Adam Strange and then made, co made the color number one. I just gave him some, like, golden stripes. And then for the color number two, I just went ahead and made it all black like that. And once the whole design comes together, I think this really looks good. So, yeah, I don't know. I just like the way I looked a little bit. Uh, for the hips, you want to go over to, um, uh, you want to go down to, uh, Malcolm Merlin's and just leave it, leave it as is. Uh, for the, for the left hand, you want to go ahead and give him a skin color, because he does not wear a glove on that one. But on the right one, you want to go ahead and make it black. And then for the, um, for the arms, for the left arm, you want to go ahead and give him, uh, I think it was Donna, Donna Troy's, so it's going to be somewhere, uh, up here, somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Okay, it says, uh, Donna Troy. All right, there she is. Yeah, so you want to go with Don Troy's and you want to make it black because he does have a little bit of silver on his uh his left one, his left arm, and on the right arm you want to go over to uh, Felix Faust and you want to use that one because he does have some gold on his uh left arm, his sh uh, or his right arm I should say, which I think is his shooting arm if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you want to go like that and I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so for the final uh, thing we need to add for this for the whole design, you want to go down to uh to the quiver and you want to go ahead and make it black. And you're pretty much done with the overall design of our Hawkeye. Uh, but now on to the, uh, onto the effects, I guess. Uh, for the head impact, I just went ahead and gave him a gold color. But like I said, for this, you can really go to which, which, with whatever color you want. And for the jump slime effect, I just went ahead and gave him a golden one as well. Alright guys, so now on to the personality. So for the health icon, I went ahead and made it black. Or actually, you know what? Make it yellow. Yeah. For the health type, make sure it's standard. For the voice, make sure you have a male voice. Target reticle, I went with Mercy Graves. Speed, normal, and for the animation style, you want to leave it at normal because we're going to be giving him some weapons, some weapons anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, for the weapons, you want to go over to the bow, and for the bow type, you could either go with recurve or compound, but I went with the recurve one because um, I think this is really what closely resembles, what most closely resembles his bow in Avengers Endgame. Uh, so yeah, you, wish, you just want to go ahead and make it black as well. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for our Hawkeye. I'm not going to go over the abilities or anything like that because we're, we're kind of running short on time and I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's go ahead and go to the Metropolis Hub World and showcase these characters around for a bit. So yeah, like I said, out of the two, I think I prefer the Hawkeye. Just because I think there's just a lot more detail to him, more colors and stuff. But, or not more colors, but just more different pieces. And I don't know, I just, I don't know. I think both characters turned out good, but I think this Hawkeye just turned out a little bit better. In my opinion, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know which ones you guys like better. Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you guys prefer. If you guys like the Black Widow or the Hawkeye better, but yeah, here they are, guys. Our custom Black Widow and Hawkeye from Avengers Endgame. And actually, like I said, I wasn't planning on making these characters, but you guys wanted me to, so I just decided to go ahead and make them. And like I said, I think they turned out pretty good. Uh, not not 100% movie accurate, obviously, because none of my customs are ever 100% accurate. 
but for the most part, I think it turned out pretty good. And I'm actually glad I, I decided to make them at, at the end, even though it's it's uh, kind of a long overdue. <laughs> I should I should have made them earlier. But the reason I didn't make them earlier was just because um so many other like YouTubers already made them, so I just didn't want to copy them. But I mean, they they made them in their like Quantum Realm suits, so I'm I don't know. I'm just I kind of made them in their actual suits from the movies. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm um, sorry I didn't get to showcase them around more. I just don't want to make this video too long. It's already over like 10 minutes now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more customs coming soon. Uh, like I said, I will, I will be doing more of the characters you guys request, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, guys. Peace.